background there. How you doing? And Master Nero. We're all here up here on the on the roof of the oh, yeah, we're not all there. <laughs> right. Right. But yes, so to all you apprentices out there. That's what you're missing. <laughs> really, and he can attest this, the methods really aren't any different. Right? Um, I have one handed techniques, he has one handed techniques, we both have that. So, um, basic, kind of the basic things goes here is we got stance is really important, especially when we're dealing with real conduct, because when we're here, and if we just kind of go at it just If, if he comes in here, the spins, when I come into here, 
I can spin like this against him. If I do this, though, <laughs> obviously, I get it. So, a <clears throat> little bit different. When you see it in the movies, you know, it's there for drama and stuff like that. And in a real fight, stuff like that does happen, right? For instance, we're going along here, right? He passes me, right? Well, now we have to turn around and fight each other, right? That's not always easy, especially if you're going, you know, a mile a minute. I uh, You know, real sword fighting probably didn't look anything like what we're thinking of. They probably, because most of the time people battlefield, it was just like, hey, you, here's a sword, go kill them. You know, that was it. Big 300. You know? And then, well, I, Block X last pill. No, I'm not this one. Right, except in, instead of Spartans, you have Greeks. <laughs> just random people you picked up off the street. <laughs> right? Because you would be conscripted. Right? And then the knights would stand behind this wall of fire that would go in. Operation um, Human Shield. <laughs> exactly. Oh, where's the You don't want to be in the band. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so. The thing about it, if you're doing staged combat, what you have to remember is that it's supposed to replicate real combat. Real combat doesn't look good on the film, okay? So you have to kind of like exaggerate the things that you're doing. But as a martial arts, so somebody who's a sword board, right? When I see a fight and, and certain things are broken, it's just done for me, right? Like, uh, I mean, I don't know how many people out on land are here, but I consider all of the prequel lightsaber fights garbage. <laughs> because they're, it's, they're standing so far away, and every two seconds they do this. You know, it's just, you have to make it look. You know, you can see people like Yang Wu Ping who do very unrealistic things. People are flying over and everything like that, but yet, you're able to suspend your disbelief and go, that's cool. Matrix. Right. Matrix. Well, that's an example of you movie. Yep. <clears throat> Matrix, uh, if you, uh, Crouching Tiger, even though the movie's a little boring, the, the fight's pretty good. Um, you know, he was, that was in Wu-Ping as well. Um, and the thing about the Chinese movies is they try to kind of convey characters in the fight, which is something that's... It's another cool. thing, too, Chad, if you guys missed out, like the fight that we teach from the Mustafar section, in the movie, they've got a couple different camera angles that shit on every couple of hits. They're doing the exact same hits. Camera angle one, one, two, three, camera angle two, one, two, three, camera angle three, one, two, three. It looked like nine hits, but it was the same three hits edited together yeah. to make the same the fights in the long run. So, right. And see, when you, you like, for me, when I watched that, it was like watching the same three hits. It was like watching, it was like watching a 20-minute instant replay. You know, like them redoing the same thing. And then, I have to when when they stop and they did this in front of each other. And they're standing on the table. Oh, the mutual masturbation Yeah, where they're like, Whoa. Oh, the lightsaber. Me and, yeah, me and, me and my friend literally <laughs> laughed out loud at the theater. We were in hysterics. We were like, we the same thing. We just had a walking with the force where we just practice moving the saber, moving around it, all that. Because the, the spins will teach you how to get your saber into quick positions really easily, so that if an attack comes in, you go there, and you have a good block, right? <clears throat> Teaching kids, don't block like this over your head. Always look like this, right? Remember, your head has to be under the blade. Okay? If your head is under your hands, you're still in. <laughs> okay? so, so that's kind of like our, our way of coming at it. The drills and the exercises and all that kind of stuff that we have on there are applicable to any, to, to really anything. Because it's all about, you know, being able to use this weapon the way you intend to use it, right? You can make it do what you want it to do, right? <clears throat> so that's kind of, kind of it in a nutshell.
everything as similar it is. Um, because it's so diluted from you know martial arts and real combat, and so you really just get the, the most efficient things without any of the extra. So, so it's in a way it, is, it has its you know drawbacks or whatever. But um, so I, I, I tend to definitely see a lot of the aspects of what he teaches and kind of go, okay, like I have an analog for that, it makes sense. So you had a what for that? Analog. Define analog. I mean, I, I know it's the first. Uh, just say, yeah. Not that he can say it. Yeah, basically an equivalent uh, concept for that technique or whatever. You know, he'll have something, he'll call it this, I'll have something I call it this. It has the same purpose. Yeah. Um, so it's pretty much along the same line. So. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, our training, we do lots of forms, Dulan, you know, that you can, that, that look really cool and have lots of. Awesome moves and everything. And then you're yes, you're not necessarily going to use those in a fight, right? Like you're probably never, as, as you saw, never going to turn around 360 degrees on purpose, walking towards them, right? Because they will just wait till your back is turned and hit you, right? However, if somebody walk, runs past you or knocks you around and you do spin, training is spinning help or turning and, and all that kind of it helps you not get dizzy, helps you reorient, right? And it helps your body dynamics. Right? So all of these things, you know, kind of coming together. So you, when you're training by yourself, you can do all kinds of stuff to really raise your athleticism, raise your training level, and then you try to play real conservative when you're when you're in an actual match because you don't want to put too much out. You want to do, you want the most amount of work for the least amount of effort. Have you created uh, forms or katas? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got, we've got, we have them for all of them, right? I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah we finished them a couple years. Actually, well, could 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 we have money to to <coughs> your kata? Sure. Yeah, I don't know which one. Well, she chose she probably chose. first bit, right? She chose. She chose. Yeah, our she chose. It's not going to look too much. Yeah, you want me to correct? Where each section is going to be focused on one of the three strikes. And then starting to put them together. That was Shicho. Actually, a question. Yes. Yeah, the, the actual the very opening looks like, did, was it completely independent of it? Reminds me of the openings of the movie like, for The okay. opening of that day is common to about 600 Chinese forms. Every Chinese blade form starts off with downward cuts, sideward cuts, <laughs> upward cuts. And the youth development. I, yeah, most of that's yes, most of that's based on several forms that I know. Uh, the theory around it is pretty much based on what's called Dao Dao, which was a military saber in Chinese. So it was like a two-handed chopper. Yeah, so, so, here, so that was completely that, that combination you put together for the opening of the doesn't It's interesting, right? Isn't it? Right? Because it is completely yeah. now is to yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Sun was using. Yeah, I, I know I helped them develop. So if he's coming up forms, it's not just Chinese. So that's, that's you'll, the same. You'll find it in Korean sort of forms. You'll yeah. find it in German sort of forms. You can start to the second level. All of those things we do are Japanese. Largely Japanese as well. Japanese, yeah. definitely. Upward cut, side, down is the basics. So you're going to see those basics. This footwork we call the hot slide because it's Star Wars, right? In Chinese, it's called feet step. Right? It's, uh, just, it's just fencing footwork. It's just fencing right. footwork, really. Hey, he, he put up a footwork you know, over at Makashi, and you know, I said, like, oh, I'm interested. What's this going to be like? Oh, oh, it's not fencing footwork. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's the hot slide is there. The hot slide, which is advanced, advanced, retreat, that kind of thing. And then you 
have, you know, the hyper step on the movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's essentially, at the left yeah. side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's you know, changing every time. Yep. Yeah. So. That was your full, uh, full sheet show. That was the full sheet show, yes. Uh, that's a long one. Let's see if I can get through it. That's what most people say. Okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> 